Hello, Your Honor. This is a case of Green versus Green. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Green, you claim that the defendant repeatedly cheated on you during your marriage with both men and women. Yes, Your Honor. You state you have every reason to doubt that you are one-year-old Keegan's biological father because of Mrs. Green's sexual track record. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you've petitioned the court for a paternity test. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Green, you say Mr. Green wasn't ready to be married and that he was the promiscuous one. Yes, Your Honor. You claim that you stepped outside of your marriage only when he left to be with other women. Yes, Your Honor. All right, well, Mr. Green, why do you have doubts that baby Keegan is your biological child? I mean, she used to leave me in the house, like, for numerous amounts of time. Like, she would tell me she'd go into the store for, like, an hour. She'd be gone for, like, two or three hours and get back. I asked her where she'd been. Like, she'd just been to her girlfriend's house. To her girlfriend's house can mean really her boyfriend's house or both. Like, who knows? You know what I mean? What if the store was just crowded? I don't think Burger King at 10 o'clock at night is crowded until, like, 1 in the morning. So this is what made me, like, not want to be with her. You know what I mean? Like, and then when I did leave, the first time I did leave, I was going to see my other child. But when Make he sure left got... to see his other child, I did not even know he was gone. Someone called me at work and told me that they dropped him off at the bus station. If no. I'm supposed to be your wife, why you didn't tell me you were leaving, whether it was to see your child or whatever, you could have said you were leaving. I don't know leaving. if that's accurate or not. You don't know if it's accurate or not? Recall. Don't play. I really can't don't play. I don't, I can't really yeah, okay. can't recall. Can't recall. He can't recall. Yeah, can't recall. Of course not. Okay, okay. okay. So give me some other reasons why you have doubt, Mr. Green. Okay, and then there was another time where, like, I flew back from Atlanta. Like, we said we was gonna get it together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I flew back from Atlanta, came with, in the house, we're chilling. With another woman in Atlanta. Tell oh, the whole story. We broken up. You already had another child by somebody else. Okay. So what you mean? Yes, ma'am, I did. And he would have also had another child during that point. If allegedly. still she another said, that child. Was allegedly. That, that wasn't mine. That there allegedly. is still she another child what that is possibly What kind of marriage his. is this? <laughs> A circus. A circus. Let me get this together. You're married. So Basically. you always suspected stuff was going yeah, on. She already told me. Even I when you were together. Rapper, I found the con rapper on the floor. Like one time I came home or whatever from being like out or whatever, mm -hmm. out of town or whatever I came and was out kind of, of rapping on the How floor. long were you out of town for? Where were you at when you were out of town? I was in Atlanta. Right, in Atlanta, right. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. With who? With my son moms. But we wasn't together. So what are you talking about then? But still, what, did you, I found the kind of rap on the floor. You smutty. Okay, let's let's get this straight. Were you in Atlanta with your son's mother, or were you in Atlanta visiting your son? There's a difference. I had it out there, and I was he you know was in, going in Atlanta, going there. living with his son's mother. While they were in Atlanta, she became pregnant again. What Key's over here talking about, about condom that's rappers true. and all that that's other stuff, she got pregnant that was while he was gone. At least somebody had sense enough to be using condom. Okay, okay so I let's get focused rappers. here. Let's get mm -hmm. focused. I want to get to the child in question. Okay. You have doubts yes, whether this child is yours. Yes. Because of Mrs. Green's actions. So you've got doubt. Yes. When do you learn she's pregnant? Uh, two weeks after I came back from Atlanta. So, Mrs. Green, let me else. ask you. He's away in Atlanta. Yes, ma'am. You guys are on a, another break. I, if that's what you call it, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what to call it either. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a marriage, but it doesn't sound like one. No. Um, so, he comes back. You admit that you had been sleeping with other men and women and having your own fun while he's gone. Yes, Because you all are apart. He comes back, and then you're pregnant. You tell him you're pregnant. He was back for, like, a month before I found out I was pregnant. I had n not been with anyone during the time that this child was conceived besides him. Oh, really? Him. Somebody wasn't calling your phone? So... Oh, boy, kept, wasn't keep calling your phone? Do you phone? get pregnant through the phone? You keep anyway, phone. like I said, I hadn't been with anyone during the time that this child was conceived besides him. You are certain yes, that during that time, even though you'd had sex with other men and women during this time when this child was conceived, you were only sleeping with your husband. Yes, ma'am. And I don't know what women have to do with anything, because none of them definitely got me pregnant. So that don't even have nothing to do with what's going on, really. But... No, it don't, but I'm going to explain Mr. Green, why. you say there are rumors you heard that she was with other people. Yes, there's rumors that I heard she was with other people. My cousin, them telling me that she'd be on the barbershops all the time, messing with this one, messing with that one. You know what I'm saying? She... she now, like, all of this was happening during the time the baby was conceived? Yeah, this is all around the same time, yes. This is all around the same time. We was partying, yeah. We was partying, having a good time. Together. Or whatever. Together. Yeah, we was partying, right. having a good time together. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I was about you 
And that was that was that. You was about everything else. I didn't okay. want none of that. You okay. know what I'm saying? That was something you that you want wanted. That's something you brought the milkshake to the yard. Right. I did not. Okay. You did. All right. Cool. Mm. He's saying he, if you don't want something, if you don't want something, you're supposed to be a grown man. You say no, we're not gonna do this, or I'm just gonna leave. Correct? You don't participate. So, Mr. Green, are That's you accusing do, right? Mrs. Green for getting you involved in activities that you wouldn't otherwise yeah, be mama. involved? Yeah, I, I never, I, yeah, I never, never was involved with no, I you know, what I'm saying swinging stuff. No, to a grown man to a sinner. I ain't saying I ain't a sinner, nothing yeah, like that. Okay. But that was my first like sexual experience with two females and all that. She she asked for all of that. He she, was there, that was though. her people's. He that was, was there. her home girl. Who does that? He was you know there. what woman brings another woman into the situation, into the equation. So That's now she you wanted to do. Uh, you two and as I a married like, couple, I even like the female. Like, during I didn't the time, like the oh, he didn't wide. like that female. Yeah. He like hold you don't on. Like Let's like get some order. Hold on one second, cause I'm trying to understand this mess. You come back. And between within two weeks to a month, your wife is pregnant. Yes. But during this time, you've heard rumors that she's sleeping around with other people. It was people. a female. She actually brought a female into the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like she brought. Well, a she's not gonna get pregnant by a woman. I hate to break that to you. So no, okay. we need to understand what men have you heard. No, no. I'm gonna get back to the female part. If I can no, elaborate. No, no. You gonna get back to the part? need to understand because a female cannot impregnate anybody and this is paternity court so we need somebody to be a father. What well, I man, am a father. I'm the one that got him now. I got you, him now. I've been having What man last... are you accusing her of sleeping with during the time this child was conceived? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. What man are you accusing her of sleeping with during the time this child was conceived? She told me she was sleeping with somebody else. She told me that. She told me she could be pregnant with him. Okay. So she told me she could be pregnant by him. That's a whole situation. All she right, told that's me, why yeah, you have your doubt. Yes, she told so, me. So, Mrs. Green, yes, did you tell your husband that while you were gone, I was sleeping with another man and that that man could potentially be the father of this child? Yes, I did admit to having relations with someone else during the time that he was gone, but I never said it was a possibility that he was my child's father. No, ma'am. He has double standards. Everything's cool as long as it's no going his standards. way. You, why are you lying? But... You told me that. You told me that you was pregnant. You told me that you might be pregnant. Like, before okay. you, you told me you might be pregnant by somebody else. You told me that. Really? Before I even flew back there. Yes, you did. Okay. You told me that. Okay. You just now saying that she told you that she may be pregnant before you ever flew back from Atlanta? Yes, Your Honor. But you said before that she told you two weeks after... Thank you. ...you got back. <laughs> That's so when she told me she was pregnant. I mean, she she told me this would happen. She told me, like, I, I might be pregnant, or whatever the case is. Came before back home. Before you came. Yeah, came back home. She supposedly had her period. Then, like, a week later, she's How saying that she's pregnant. supposedly have a period? Supposedly. Could have been faking. I don't oh, know. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. It's your testimony that she says she may be pregnant before, and then by the time you got back home a couple weeks later, she announces, I am, in fact, pregnant. Yes. And it just it was suspicious to me. I didn't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, we chilling, we hanging. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, you pop up a week two later, I'm in town, that you're pregnant all of a sudden. And you was just telling me prior to that, that you, you know what I'm saying, that you might be pregnant. So I'm like, yeah, I'm giving me doubts. And plus, I know how you get down. I know what people are saying about you in the streets. So I just want to know for sure. Okay. Like, I take so care I of him and all of that witness. still. Uh, Mr. Concepcion, please stand at the podium. Hello. So now, what do you have to say about this mess and Mrs. Green? What do you have to add? Listen, basically, she turned up. They both turned up, but she extra turned up. Uh, I believe. I want you to explain to me, in respectful language, if possible, okay. what turned up means. <laughs> Enlighten me. No holes barred. Everything is a go, basically. Sexually. Everything is a go, yes. Understood. Multiple partners. Vegas in the bedroom. Okay. You know okay. <laughs> So you, what are you saying about Mrs. Green? What do you know? I mean, once he told me that she Nothing. was pregnant and he was bouncing back and forth, you know, I got friends all over the place. I got cousins in, in Charlotte. They bouncing back and forth. My, my cousin got a house in Jacksonville. So I gave him a call, and I'm just like, you know, just ask him, Joe GP, to see, you know, if she ringing like that, like he claimed, you know what I mean? I want to see what's going on. So I call my man. I'm like, yo, listen. I'm like, you know what? Before I can even finish saying Whitney, he like, who? I'm like, wait, he like, who? I'm like, wait, he like, no. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 
And that reaction means turned up. Yeah, yeah. yeah she turned up. Yeah, she turned up. Oh, basically, wait basically. Up. You know, basically. turn up. Basically. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. Mr. Concepcion, thank you for that very um, colorful testimony. Yes, yeah. colorful. You very. may be seated. Now, Mrs. Green, you find out you're pregnant. You know in your heart yes, that you're pregnant with your husband's child. Yes, ma'am. But can you see, because of the distance and because of the fact that you openly admit that you were having other sexual partners, both men and women, while you were apart, do you understand why he could have some doubt? Yes, but I don't think there's a reason for you to say because you were only home for two weeks. Does it take two weeks to get pregnant? Like, I, anybody with common sense knows that it only takes having sex one time to get pregnant. Yeah, the amount of time, time you doesn't sex matter. With like, no, it doesn't it's matter. Your issue is not... So matter. So you, 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 so you can say, look, one. you're allowed I'm to have the one. doubt if you want to have the I doubt. I don't care. Because he can doubt whatever he wants to doubt as long as he take care of my son. So, Mr. Green, in a nutshell, you believe Mrs. Green is promiscuous? You've yeah, heard stories yeah. about her? You have doubt as to whether or not this child is yours, yes, based yes, upon that. Yes, ma'am. Besides <sighs> the fact that your wife admitted that she was sleeping with other people, she's saying she's certain during the time this child was conceived that she was only sleeping with you. Are there any other reasons that you have reason to doubt this child is yours? The Did you, is, uh, do the... you feel like... The child looks like you? No, I don't think... Look you, at you, the baby's nose. Their mouth is open the same, with the same dun -da -dun look on their face. Like, come on now. But my baby don't look like it you? He looks like a typical black male. Like, come oh, on. Oh, you do too? Imagine yes, that. Yes, and you've so been, and you've been, you been sleeping, you've been sleeping, and you've been sleeping with typical black about. men. And you've been sleeping with typical black I men, so I come on. I say that child belonged to somebody else, because he's an idiot. You don't see I, any I wish resemblance I here? No, I, I really don't, because... No, I really don't, for sure. Okay, husband and wife, let's... Hear from the defendant's witness. Please step up to the podium, Ms. Gant. Thank you for joining us. What would you like to say about this situation? Um, well, me and Whitney have been friends for a very long time. A very long time. Um, when, not too long after they got married, about probably about two, three, maybe four days after they got married, she called me crying and she was like, My husband left. This is four days after you get married. Well, now, for no your witness to say, when you get married, you get married so you don't have to chase people, you've been chasing and running from the beginning. And I've always remained, I personally, you know, because I've been a part of all this, I have to hear the cries. I hear the tears. I've heard both sides of the story. And I try to stay in the middle of everything, but honestly, it's it comes down to, like I've told him, like I've told her, it's not about you, it's not about her. If y'all want to be together, be together. If you don't want to be together, don't be together. At the end of the day, there are children involved in this that have genuine emotions for the both of y'all. She, Her children love him like just like anybody else. His children love her just like anybody else. You know, like, it's it's not about them. It's about the children. And all this back and forth, words after words after words, calling her outside her so name Ms. and Green, all this, this is in front I'm of the children. I'm looking at you right now, and you seem very emotional. It's I am, because it just doesn't make any sense. Like... I've been through so much with him that isn't relevant and to I this case. And I haven't that been isn't even relevant. Her speak, Mr. Green. That isn't even relevant to what's going on right now. When I married this man, he had a child on the way. But I loved him and I wanted to be with him. I had you to got, deal with him. Had, I had to deal with him, him. Like, going you had back a child, and you forth. Had a child already. What's and, and he already had a child too. Like I said, I loved him, so I married him regardless. But I never feel like I was truly ever respected as his wife from day one. It was always his kids over me, or what his family thought over me, or what his friends thought over me, whatever. He never got a chance to try to get to know me because he didn't stay around long enough to do so. I just want all this to be over with so I can carry on and have a normal life. That's all I want. Okay, now it's time for the DNA results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? There you go. The DNA results were prepared today by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Green versus Green, as it relates to one-year-old Keegan Green, 
Mr. Green, you... Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Green versus Green, as it relates to one-year-old Keegan Green, Mr. Green, You are the father. Now turn up to that. Turn up now. That's what I'm talking about. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. That's all okay. I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know why you all mad. Like, come on. You shouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised, yeah, are you? You shouldn't be surprised. You shouldn't be surprised that I say okay, something. I don't like, even care. I don't even right. care. It's okay. Right. I just need my let, let, let's, let's get some order. I see a lot of nonsense in this courtroom, things that I feel like I really can't believe my eyes. But you all have taken the cake today. I don't know what you all thought marriage was when you got into it, but you obviously had no clue. You all are over here supposed to be married to one another, sleeping with this person, sleeping with that person, and bringing children into this world within this mess. That's not acceptable. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it really real, it's shameful. Yeah. You got a lot of nerve to sit up here and actually be producing children when you can't even get your own lives together. Now, it is the order of this court that you all decide whether or not you're gonna be married or you're not. We ain't. We're not. We ain't. And that's fine. We'll then dissolve the marriage and learn how to parent together respectfully for the sake of the children. And stop being so messy. Court is adjourned. We only knew each other probably like six months before we got married, and it's just been a disaster. She's right about the kids being involved. It just, everything needs to calm down. It's just too much going on right now. I plan on, after this, you know, taking care of my son like I've been doing, you know? Just had to know for sure. Closed captioning provided by...